If I got 100k likes on one of my YouTube videos, I'd get a portrait of Daniel Buley on my body. Make it happen. Cała noc jazdy. Skończyliśmy wczoraj koło 11 w Grand Prix Tetero. O 8 rano byliśmy w Lublinie. Postawiliśmy Daja w hotelu, żeby jeszcze sobie dospał. Wiadomo, w się to nie jest to samo, co, co w łóżku. E, a my dzięki uprzejmości firmy Moto Express, tutaj serdeczne pozdrowienia dla Rafała. E, mamy możliwość przygotowania motocykli na dzisiejszy mecz e, z Lublinem. I to robimy. Dziękuję, Byku. Satunacja jak. Dziękuję. Dzięki. Dzięki, dzięki. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Cheers, bro. Dziękuję. Left the old job now, Scott. It's harder than it looks. I'll employ you as my personal photographer. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We're here in Poland. Where are we? We're always in fucking Poland. We're in Lublin. We're in Lublin. Dan Buley's here. Obviously, GP was last night. Drove through the night, we're here today, just had some lunch. Beautiful place, beautiful place. Plenty of people, so we're just gonna go and have a walk to the track. It's only one kilometer for here, so let's go check it out. I love seeing people bus. Like, at least they're making an effort. Getting out there. Which way is the track, Dan? You are our satellite navigation system. If I got 100k likes on one of my YouTube videos, I'd get a portrait of Daniel Buley on my body. Make it happen. I think he needs that. Should have said 200k. <laughs> <laughs> if this, vi this video gets 100k likes, I'll get Buley tattooed on the side of my penis. <laughs> wasn't where I was wanting it, but he wants to get a he, he wants to get my name tattooed on him for you. I know he wants to, but um, we've come to a deal. If this video gets 100k likes, then uh, he'll get it done. So it's official. This video gets 100,000 likes. I'll get Dan Buley tattooed on me something. Run it up. Photo? Yeah. Oh, yeah! yeah. Woo! Good luck, Cheers. I'm so glad they recognise you as well, Dan. I mean, it took a while, but um, <laughs> they're coming around. You know? No, no, we're not comparing crashes. We're just discussing big ones. You said to Dan that the one in Prague was quite big, and then Dan said not compared to tyres. And then I was saying which one because I've had a lot of big ones, like Manchester last year in the Speedway Nations, Gorzhov. End of 2020 or 2021, end of 2020, when I ran over Everson and absolutely sent it into the fence. It's the one where my frame broke in half, and half the frame ended up in the. Die, die. Half the frame ended up in the crowd. <laughs> Thanks for recognizing Dan, he's very happy now. I like that he goes, Ty, Ty, what is it? Hey, can you take a photo with us? You know what I love about that? Like, we're here in Lublin, we're walking to the track, and their fans are wishing us luck. Like, their fans, like, oh, are you gonna win? Like, it's cool, eh? Yeah. Instead of, like, going somewhere and they're like, yeah, fucking fuck you, motherfuckers. Because some tracks is like that. Oh, we're gonna have to do about 20,000 photos in a minute. There's nice people. Very good, very nice. Uh, yes, 
we've got three minutes to get in before we get fined, so. What about the Uli? You want to go? Oh, the Uli. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> We're nearly in. We're nearly. I go anywhere, anywhere with you, cause you feel my mind, or you feel my mind. We could build a dream, start up something new, let the old be dead, let the shadows in my head. And the world is on your shoulders and you feel like falling over, just come a little closer. I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you, cause when we are together, I know you feel the tension, just let me in. We just fly from Lublin. Only motor. Hejtajski, come to the motor, come to the motor, hejtajski, come to the motor. Tak, tak, tak. Vlog number whatever it is, see you later. We're home, it's 4.30 in the morning, haven't been asleep yet, I'm pretty tired. The cleaner gets here at 7. <laughs> So, questioning whether to have a few hours sleep or whether to just go in the gym and do a nice, long, steady run. Beautiful sunrise. Ta-da! See ya! My name's Neil Machin. I spent the last 30 years promoting Speedway in England. I was bursting to see his new place in right here, where he lives, and just spend a bit of time with the family, you know, that sort of adopted me, I don't know, 30 years ago or something, as Ty was, well, before Ty was born indeed, I sort of became a part of the, the Wuffendam family uh, in a way and obviously became Ty's godfather which uh, gives me immense pride today as you can imagine. Uh, I, I sometimes think of the past and, and stuff that's gone on and I often think to myself that one of these days I'm going to wake up to have a godson to become three times uh, world champion, uh, the most successful British uh, competitors ever been in Speedway and uh, it just blows me away the whole story and I'm looking forward to seeing a great big crowd and um, and some Polish track action the crowds building as we speak
you know, some seasons are up and some are down. Like uh, this year, I'm struggling a little bit, but we're we, we're getting there, I guess. Um, but anyway, we we um, we keep pushing for for all the years that I've raced for the club. We always aim for the win for the end of the year. That's sport. Uh, yeah, I guess that's why we're not so much, right? So how was that, Neil? Oh, fantastic meeting. Kept everybody on the toes throughout the, the thing. It was okay, bit of a disappointing result really. Um, but great atmosphere, the whole organisation, the whole thing just tremendous. Absolutely tremendous, what more can I say? It was great.